case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. In 1999, the Supreme Court of the United States heard the case College Savings Bank v. Florida, prepaid post-secondary education expense board, which centered on the concept of state sovereign immunity. This principle holds that a state cannot be sued in federal court without first agreeing to it. The dispute at hand involved College Savings Bank and the United States accusing the state of Florida of using misleading trademarks in their college savings programs, thereby violating the Lanham Act's false advertising provisions. The petitioner argued that Florida had waived its immunity from federal court. However, the Supreme Court, in a majority opinion delivered by Justice Scalia, ruled that state sovereign immunity can be waived only through clear and explicit consent. The court found that the Trademark Remedy Clarification Act allows for suits against states for false and misleading advertising, but without explicit consent from Florida, the state could not be sued in federal court. Florida's sovereign immunity was therefore upheld as the court determined that waivers of state sovereign immunity must be clear and unequivocal. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit lse.law. Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.